Hey, I'm Al McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. Hey, the film is going to come out right now. It's a Marvel movie, but it's the X-Men. You know, they're on 20th Century Fox. But now Disney owns them. So now Disney owns really all the Marvel characters now, especially ones that were on Fox, Spider-Man and the X-Men. So now they own them. Well, the film is called Dark Phoenix, and this is about Jean Grey and the X-Men. You know, this is about how she achieved such a power that she can destroy Earth and the X-Men themselves. And what they try to do? Well, they try to destroy her too. Now, this was directed by Simon Kinberg, and this is, is his interpretation of the story. Because the writers, they've been writing this story for cartoons and comic books. And I remember reading about this some time ago, too, in a comic book. Well, you know, she, again, this is how Jean Grey got these powers. The U.S. government, they're very friendly right now with the X-Men. Well, with the X-Men by, you know, uh, Professor X and, you know, and his school and things like that. The government asked them to go into space and save the pilots from a space shuttle in the 90s. So they did. But while they were in space, this power overcomes Jean Grey. So when she gets back on Earth, what happens? They discover that her powers are so incredibly strong, they, to about the X-Men, hey, we need to get rid of her because she's going to get rid of us. But in the meantime, there are aliens who understand that power, but they want that power from Jean Grey so they can destroy Earth and so they can populate Earth. Well, how many times have we didn't heard that story? How many times have we seen that story? That's the only problem I had with this film is that really, it's really not that original. And like I say, the Dark Phoenix story has been told many times in many different formats. Also, I really don't have a love affair with the X-Men like I do the Avengers too. And I don't know how many fans are like that, but I'm like that. So anyway, you know, you got all the X-Men's in there, Magneto, all of them, except you know who I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. He's not in this one. I'm gonna give you a hint. It is a he. He's not in this one. I wonder why. But anyway, you know, you got James McAvoy in here. You got Michael Fassbender in this. You got Jennifer Lawrence in this film. But again, you know, like I say, this is owned by Walt Disney Studios now, which they bought from 20th Century Fox Film Corporation. Now, it is good to watch. This film is, you know, it's really good to watch. A lot of good action in it. But again, you've seen this story before. This is the only problem I have. So I'm only going to give this two and a half palm trees. It's a good story, but it's not original to me. I've seen it before. Hey, I'm Al McGee. Thanks for watching my review of the Dark Phoenix X-Men. And I really appreciate it that you watch me. I really do. You are watching YETicket.com with Al McGee. Movie reviews and interviews. This is YETicket.com. YETicket.com. Your entertainment ticket. We are your entertainment ticket. That's right. YETicket.com. We are your entertainment ticket.